Koopman's theorem states that in closed shell Hartree Fock theory, HF, the first ionization energy of a molecular system is equal to the negative of the orbital energy of the highest occupied molecular orbital. Homo. This theorem is named after Chorling Koopmans, who published this result in 1934. Koopmans' theorem is exact in the context of restricted Hartree Fock theory if it is assumed that the orbitals of the ion are identical to those of the neutral molecule. The frozen orbital approximation. Ionization energies calculated this way are in qualitative agreement with experiment. The first ionization energy of small molecules is often calculated with an error of less than 2 electron volts. Therefore, the validity of Koopman's theorem is intimately tied to the accuracy of the underlying Hartree Fock wave function. The two main sources of error are orbital relaxation, which refers to the changes in the Fock operator and Hartree Fock orbitals when changing the number of electrons in the system, and electron correlation, referring to the validity of representing the entire many body wave function using the Hartree Fock wave function, i.e., a single Slater determinant composed of orbitals that are the eigenfunctions of the corresponding self consistent Fock operator. Empirical comparisons with experimental values and higher quality ab initio calculations suggest that in many cases, but not all, the energetic corrections due to relaxation effects nearly cancel the corrections due to electron correlation. A similar theorem exists in density functional theory (DFT) for relating the exact first vertical ionization energy and electron affinity to the HOMO and LUMO energies, although both the derivation and the precise statement differ from that of Koopman's theorem. Ionization energies calculated from DFT orbital energies are usually poorer than those of Koopman's theorem, with errors much larger than 2 electron volts possible depending on the exchange correlation approximation employed. The LUMO energy shows little correlation with the electron affinity with typical approximations. The error in the DFT counterpart of Koopman's theorem is a result of the approximation employed for the exchange correlation energy functional so that, unlike in HF theory, there is the possibility of improved results with the development of better approximations. <laughs> <laughs> Generalizations of Koopman's theorem While Koopman's theorem was originally stated for calculating ionization energies from restricted closed shell Hartree Fock wave functions, the term has since taken on a more generalized meaning as a way of using orbital energies to calculate energy changes due to changes in the number of electrons in a system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Ground state and excited state ions. Koopman's theorem applies to the removal of an electron from any occupied molecular orbital to form a positive ion. Removal of the electron from different occupied molecular orbitals leads to the ion in different electronic states. The lowest of these states is the ground state and this often, but not always, arises from removal of the electron from the HOMO. The other states are excited electronic states. For example, the electronic configuration of the H2O molecule is 1A1 2 2A1 2 1B2 2 3A1 2 1B1 2, where the symbols A1, B2 and B1 are orbital labels based on molecular symmetry. From Koopman's theorem the energy of the 1B1 HOMO corresponds to the ionization energy to form the H2O plus ion in its ground state 1A1 2 2A1 2 1B2 2 3A1 2 1B1 1. The energy of the second highest MO 3A1 refers to the ion in the excited state 1A1 2 2A1 2 1B2 2 3A1 1 1B1 2, and so on. In this case the order of the ion electronic states corresponds to the order of the orbital energies. Excited state ionization energies can be measured by photoelectron spectroscopy. 
For H2O, the near Hartree-Fock orbital energies with sign changed of these orbitals are 1A 1559.5, 2A 136.71b 219.5, 3A 115.9 and 1B 113.8 electron volts. The corresponding ionization energies are 539.7, 32.2, 18.5, 14.7 and 12.6 eV. As explained above, the deviations are due to the effects of orbital relaxation as well as differences in electron correlation energy between the molecular and the various ionized states. For N2 in contrast, the order of orbital energies is not identical to the order of ionization energies. Near Hartree-Fock calculations with a large basis set indicate that the 1 pi u bonding orbital is the HOMO. However the lowest ionization energy corresponds to removal of an electron from the 3 sigma g bonding orbital. In this case the deviation is attributed primarily to the difference in correlation energy between the two orbitals. Topic: <laughs> Koopman's theorem for electron affinities. It is sometimes claimed that Koopman's theorem also allows the calculation of electron affinities as the energy of the lowest unoccupied molecular orbitals of the respective systems. However, Koopman's original paper makes no claim with regard to the significance of eigenvalues of the Fock operator other than that corresponding to the HOMO. Nevertheless, it is straightforward to generalize the original statement of Koopmans to calculate the electron affinity in this sense. Calculations of electron affinities using this statement of Koopmans theorem have been criticized on the grounds that virtual unoccupied orbitals do not have well-founded physical interpretations, and that their orbital energies are very sensitive to the choice of basis set used in the calculation. As the basis set becomes more complete, more and more «molecular» orbitals that are not really on the molecule of interest will appear, and care must be taken not to use these orbitals for estimating electron affinities. Comparisons with experiment and higher quality calculations show that electron affinities predicted in this manner are generally quite poor. Koopman's theorem for open-shell systems Koopman's theorem is also applicable to open-shell systems. It was previously believed that this was only in the case for removing the unpaired electron, but the validity of Koopman's theorem for ROHF in general has been proven provided that the correct orbital energies are used. The spin-up and spin-down orbital energies do not necessarily have to be the same. <coughs> Counterpart in density functional theory Cohn-Sham density functional theory DFT admits its own version of Koopman's theorem, sometimes called the dft koopmans theorem, very similar in spirit to that of Hartree-Fock theory. The theorem equates the first vertical ionization energy I display style I of a system of n display style n electrons to the negative of the corresponding case homo energy eh display style epsilon underscore h more generally this relation is true even when the case systems describes a zero temperature ensemble with non integer number of electrons n minus delta n display style n delta n for integer n display style n and delta n 0 display style delta n to 0 when considering n plus delta n display style n plus delta n 
Electrons The infinitesimal excess charge enters the K's LUMO of the n electron system, but then the exact K's potential jumps by a constant known as the derivative discontinuity. It can be argued that the vertical electron affinity is equal exactly to the negative of the sum of the LUMO energy and the derivative discontinuity, unlike the approximate status of Koopman's theorem in Hartree Fock theory because of the neglect of orbital relaxation. In the exact case, mapping the theorem is exact, including the effect of orbital relaxation. A sketchy proof of this exact relation goes in three stages. First, for any finite system, Display style i determines the r infinity display style math bf r to inf t asymptotic form of the density which decays as n r exp minus two two m e i R text style n math bf r two exp left minus two sqrt frac two meters underscore room e h bar i math bf r right. Next, as a corollary, since the physically interacting system has the same density as the K's system, both must have the same ionization energy. Finally, since the K's potential is zero at infinity, the ionization energy of the K's system is, by definition, the negative of its HOMO energy and thus finally E H equals minus I display style epsilon underscore H equals I while these are exact statements in the formalism of DFT, the use of approximate exchange correlation potentials makes the calculated energies approximate and often the orbital energies are very different from the corresponding ionization energies even by several EV, a tuning procedure is able to impose Koopman's theorem on DFT approximations thereby improving many of its related predictions in actual applications. In approximate DFTs one can estimate to high degree of accuracy the deviance from Koopman's theorem using the concept of energy curvature. It provides excitation energies to zeroth order and E n i equals epsilon i Text style frac partially partial n underscore i equals var epsilon underscore i. <laughs> 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 <